Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Rock Naeem. I'm Chantel. And I want to share something with you that I'm not sure what I'm going to call it just yet, but something personal. Uh, so it's a personal, call it testimony, word of knowledge that the Lord um, shared with me over this weekend. So this weekend I was away um, because of a death in the family. Um, and I came face to face with a large part of my past. And I was reminded of so many words that I actually have released already and it's tied. So um, one was full circle. So coming back, it's like coming back around to some, of, some part of your beginning. And without going into every aspect, I don't. I always say I don't want to make it too long. People's attention spans are not very long. But my goal in sharing is hopefully to help others as the Lord helps me. And that's all of what Ruak Naeem is about. It's um, sharing words of, of um, exhortation, warning by way of scripture, um, teachings on certain scriptures the Lord will bring to me, sharing of dreams and visions, prophetic words, Roman words that he gives me, words of knowledge. So <clears throat> this is what I want to say to some someone that will come across this video or several people, is you are not responsible. What I mean by that is you can't help everyone. You are not responsible for everyone. God has given us all responsibilities and he's given us all choice. Um, you're not responsible for someone else's decision that may reject God. You're not responsible for someone's will for, will for, willful <laughs> sin to reject God's grace and mercy. They do it with their eyes wide open. By the way, these are not judgments. These are just things how God gave it to me. So I'm giving it to you. Everyone has the opportunity to choose. Some people will absolutely choose wickedness. Yes, some people are of their father, the devil. I know these are strong words, but stay with me and hear what I'm saying. Hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Some have turned, some have been turned over, turned over to, and are ruled by the lust and lasciviousness of their evil appetites and their evil ways. God is saying to you, as he said to me, remember, you are not God. You're not Holy Ghost Jr. <laughs> Your job is to love everyone, pray for everyone. And sometimes in loving people, there may have to be a separation, physically separation from something or someone. Sometimes it's temporary and sometimes it's forever. Only God knows. Pray for them, but just know God will not violate a person's will to reject him. Trust and believe that God has over and over extended the opportunity to be forgiven. A person still can reject the warnings the grace that God extends. And remember that God is just, he's holy, and he's so loving. He will do everything he can, short of choosing for you, to show you who he is. And some have even seen miracles. Things that they cannot deny, but will still say no to God's invitation. What do you do for that? When you are a believer in Christ, when you know the scriptures tell you to witness, to be a witness, to pray for, intercede, I believe the answer is you continue to do that because you are not God, because I'm not God, because I am not the Holy Spirit of God. 
um, I have the Holy Spirit of God, but I'm not the Holy Spirit of God to anyone. And the Holy Spirit will continue to do his work in a person. And if a person doesn't know the Lord, the Holy Spirit will still be doing work outside of that person to do God's will, to get them to uh, turn from their wicked ways. But that's not my job. My job is to love, to be all of who God called me to be, to make sure I'm working out my own soul salvation with fear and trembling, and to believe in the trust. Because at the end of the day, God himself knows who belongs to him and who does not. He is the one that will separate the wheat from the tear. He gave me, uh, I did a live. It was the only one uh, that I've done thus far. It's called God Shaking. And in Jeremiah, I believe it's 11 and 14, there's a line that where God says, do not pray for this people. And over and over, even through him giving me this word, it has um, resurfaced. It has, it has given me a deeper meaning that when God says, do not pray, in this passage, and I believe what we'll see is we will see the punishment, the reward of the wicked, so to speak. And you can't do anything about it. That's why your prayers are important. Your prayers go where you can't. You never know how God will use your prayers to move something, um, to stir someone's heart to repentance. But again, we can only do so much. Remember, you yourself had to choose. And it's hurtful when you see people you care about. And even if people you don't know, but specifically people you care about, you look at them, you see them, and you see how the enemy has ravaged their lives. And they still are serving the enemy. They still go forward with him um, and don't turn back. It's heartbreaking. But again, you are not responsible for someone else's choice. Parents, you're not responsible for your adult's children's choices in life. Um, it is important to live it. Even if you didn't live it, and now you are, and you're seeing your children, none of us can, can blame someone else for why we don't serve the Lord why we didn't choose him. We certainly won't be able to stand before him and have him and, and that be our reason why uh, there won't be any excuses. So I, want, I don't want to get off what I'm saying, but I just need to share with someone as the Lord had to minister to my heart. And these, this isn't anything I don't know, but something shook me so much that I realized it had disturbed my very sleep. It's not easy to see someone that you care about, that you believe for, that you want to see free, that choose to stay in bondage, that choose to stay uh, enslaved, um, that isn't blind. But again, as the Lord said to me, you are not responsible for someone else's choice but I will say to you live it you keep standing you keep praying and interceding because as long as our loved ones have has have breath in their body there's still an opportunity and again our prayers can go go where we can't so I hope that this releases someone to know you are not you only can bear so much, right? And we are to bear each other's burdens. And that's what we do when, we're, when we pray for. But you can't control anyone. When I say you're not responsible, responsible, some synonyms. You're not in charge of. You're not in control of. You're not at the helm of someone's life. You're not accountable for. You're not liable for. And even as I say those words, I release the prophetic word where God said to me, you have been absolved, cleared, um, 
not found not guilty. So I'm going to leave, just kind of share these things as they're coming up. But I just need you to know that, and as I was saying before, this word, I hope, releases some of you. Some of you parents that are worried about your children, um, mothers, uh, or, or your parents, or anybody, anybody you care about. What I'm saying is continue to pray. God says pray without ceasing. Continue to believe, but gird your heart. Guard your heart and keep your eyes fixed on your assignment, what you're supposed to do. Heaven, I heard this word from someone else. These are not my words, but they really struck me. Heaven is not for everyone, not because it's not open to everyone, but some will choose hell by the rejection of Christ. You cannot help that kind of person. Thank God, as I said in the uh, live video, he knows um, when a person is beyond being reached. And of course, God doesn't have limitations. But when I say that beyond being reached, it's they pass the point of no return as far as God knows at what point someone will not turn to him. Because we don't, we continue to pray. Um, but just know that. Know that you're not responsible for someone else deciding to choose to walk away. Deliberately, eyes wide open. Not because they don't know the truth, but they refuse the truth. So, you all pray for me, okay? This weekend was very, um, in some ways, traumatic. It wasn't even directly to me, but it was just the ripple effects of some of my relationships. And, um, you know, sometimes we bear the burdens and feelings and weight of other people, meaning uh, we can feel the hurt, the angst, um, all while trying to mourn the loss. So I will say that I, I bless you. I thank you for taking the time to listen. Remember, you're not responsible for others' choices. The, one of the fruit of the spirit is self-control. It is not others' control. So as much as we'd like to, but think about it. God doesn't control us. He gives us the freedom of choice. That's how much he loves us. He loves us enough to let us reject him if that's what we choose. He tells us, I've set life, life and death is set before you, and he even gives us the answer. Choose life. He says, choose it. But we do get to choose. So, Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart May they have been acceptable in your sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. To my brothers and sisters, I pray that as they hear this word, that you undergird their hearts with this message and that they understand. Let it, let it lift the weights off some people that really, maybe intellectually they knew, they know this, but in their hearts, their hearts have to catch up to it. You don't hold us responsible for the choices of others. We stand before you by ourselves to give an account for our lives. Let our lives be a light in this dark, dark world, but understand that everyone will not choose. And we have to, we have to swallow that pill, that truth. So Lord, may the Lord bless you all. May the Lord keep you all. May the Lord be gracious to you May the Lord lift his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. There will be peace when you realize that you cannot choose for anyone. But God does want you to live the life and let it be a testimony and a testament in this land. God bless you all. Please remember to uh, like to like, share, subscribe. And when you subscribe, please make sure, I just realized this today when mom was, I was helping her with my uh, channel, 
that she didn't have the notification bell um, clicked. So please make, make sure you do that and share these videos with others. I appreciate it. I desire to see Ruach Naim grow into all of what God has for it. If you ever desire to sow a seed, there is a place in my about on my about page in ways you can do that. Um, again, so you're so I'm talking about financially, but also your prayers for this sister. Um, I am not discouraged, <clears throat> even in the midst of sometimes the heart aches that we feel for others. Um, we are in this world, but we're not of it. And everybody you're connected to won't decide to go with you to heaven. That's the hard truth. Um, but again, make sure you're there. <laughs> so I encourage you to um, just love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. To be obedient. To give him your yes over and over again. God bless you and keep you.